And uh, when I was 60 years old, I had uh, colon cancer. And it was um, not diagnosed properly. And it was a grapefruit-sized tumor. It was ready to just blow apart and spread cancer cells. And basically, um, went to the hospital in a lot of pain. And you know, it was, it was very traumatic, actually. But when they were doing the uh, PET scans later, a year or two later, they saw calcification on an artery near my heart. And at first they said it's sort of normal for a 60-year-old. And my attitude was I wasn't a normal 60-year-old. I was lifting weights, teaching karate, running, and all that stuff. And I didn't really want to have a really high calcification score. I didn't know what the score was yet. So I, it got tested. And my doctor said, congratulations, that's the highest score I've ever seen. And it's like 10 times over the danger zone. And there were a lot of heart attacks. Um, my grandmother at 50, my uh, two uncles at 52, two brothers a lot younger, 10 years younger and 18 years younger have died from heart attacks. So when my wife saw that, she just took all the meat, cheese, and everything, just tossed it. Uh, she saw Clinton on television talking about the diet that he'd been on. And so she just tossed everything. And we started doing some research online. And we met uh, Esselstein and then the McDougal program. And we just admired him so much from what he was doing that we decided to come down and and see the program. My wife actually was the one interested in coming. And I thought to myself, well, I've been watching the videos. I've been reading the books. And it's about 10 times better than I expected it to be. It's really a great program, good people. And the speakers are um, excellent. They've really got me. I, I'm helping a friend set up an animal sanctuary. And it really gives me a lot more energy to, to follow my goals. And I think that's the biggest thing. Just being the support, being around people who you don't have to explain things to. Coming in contact with the McDougal program was extremely supportive of what our goals were. Because you feel a little bit like uh, your friends don't understand it, your relatives don't understand it. And everybody does the, you know, you're not getting enough protein. And, and with having been a bodybuilder once and about 30 or 40 pounds heavier, the idea that you need a certain amount of protein seemed particularly important. I used to eat a hunk of cheese at night watching TV. You know, I'd go over and get my calcium. I mean, I thought that, you know, I didn't think that was particularly good, but I didn't think it was bad. Um, I ate probably twice as much protein as I needed. And the research I've done, it seems like football linemen and bodybuilders and stuff in particular, the stress that you put on your body with that excess protein really causes a lot of damage. And I feel um, a lot better than I did 10 or 20 years ago. I feel a lot more energetic. Um, I need less sleep. You know, I, I, it's good. You know, my cholesterol scores are low. Um, I, I don't have any signs of um, vascular problems other than that one extremely high score. Uh, my cholesterol was just tested here, and it's, it's below 150. Uh, triglycerides are low. Uh, I hadn't had a six pack in 20 years, and you know, that's back. So you know, my wife likes that, you know, so it's all good. Yeah.